Are you planning a house or kitchen extension and need some extension ideas? In this video, we're going to share with you what we consider to be 15 of the finest kitchen extensions in the entire UK. After you go through this video, your brain will be exploding with kitchen extension ideas. So we've scarred around and come up with a list of kitchen extensions that we think have been designed well and have dramatically changed how the house owners live and enjoy their home. And you can use this list to come up with some great kitchen extension ideas for your own. So let's get started. Up first is the George Clark Picture Frame Kitchen. The colour scheme in this kitchen extension uses a lot of complementary colours and focuses on sleek and smart lines with a sense of symmetry. However, the central focus of this kitchen is the framed view of the back garden, which gives a feeling of being connected to the kitchen area. Next, we have a kitchen extension in Earl's Court in London, and this is a very cosy kitchen. This kitchen extension has an interesting low pitched roof, and if you look inside the building, you'll notice some roof lights which travel along the apex line of the roof. These two things coupled together gets a ton of natural light into the extension. Number three is a natural materials kitchen extension. What is subtly prominent in this kitchen extension is the reflection of the chairs and table on the paved floors. The fair faced brickwork really adds character to the space and there is a real feeling of connection between the kitchen and the rear garden. Number four is our inside outside kitchen. The plain white colour scheme in this kitchen extension does make this a bright space helped of course by the large glazing panels on both the rear windows and doorways and the roof lights above. The line of the kitchen is extended out into the barbecue area to make the barbecue area feel like a direct part of the kitchen. Next we have a double height rear glazed extension with a mezzanine. Well it might not look it but there was a lot going on with this kitchen extension. For starters there is a double height space between the glares between the glazed rear facade and the dining space. This offsets the low ceiling height when we come to the mezzanine, which has been put in to make more use of the area by creating a living area above. My only gripe with this design is the location of the stairs, which is that big square lump on the top right of the living area. However, I am guessing there wasn't a budget for relocating it as it is a major job. Number six is a side return extension with diner seating. The first thing that pops out of this kitchen extension is the diner style table and seating arrangement on the right. The colour scheme is a bit too samey and could have been made a bit more exciting but I'm taking nothing away from the slick design. Again the rear garden looks part of the kitchen which is an essential element of any kitchen extension design. Number 7 is a concrete finish side extension and it looks great. Believe it or not, but that is a powder coated concrete finish on the floor and I think it looks great. Finished concrete is something that takes a lot of planning and workmanship to get right and this certainly comes into that bracket. The pink purple furniture gives a fantastic contrast to the grey and white colour scheme. And of course a bunch of natural light will get in through that glazing for what would have been an otherwise dark space in the house. Next is a permitted development extension. This extension was built without planning permission as it was covered within the permitted development rights for the property. As with most of the kitchen extensions on display in this video, the garden is factored in with the design of the kitchen area. There is a distinct boundary between both and they both feel very complementary to each other. The kitchen itself is simple and functional. Number 9 is Slick Sliding Door Kitchen Extension. One common thread through most of these kitchen extensions that you have seen here are the black rear access door frames. The reason that they are so common is that if you couple the large glazing panels with some roof lights then you are guaranteed to get a lot of light into the extension. Couple that with the usual light colour scheme of your kitchen and you can then use black frames for contrast. Number 10 is the contemporary extension with cool first floor rear terrace. The one area we have neglected so far has been the roof of the extension and in this example it has been turned into a cool first floor rear terrace. The large folding doors at the first floor level also help get a ton of light into the double height living space behind. The garden furniture looks very slick in this example too. Number 11. Sick of black doors? Here are some grey ones. The grey coloured framing of this terraced house extension looks quite good with the light coloured brickwork. There is a fantastic open feel to this extension and the whole thing feels very integrated with the rear garden. Number 12, a basement kitchen extension with wobbly rear wall and that is some reflection of those rear paving slabs. The kitchen here is very much open plan and has an interesting rear wall profile. It might be argued that the extension could have extended out further but again it comes down to your personal preference. How much space do you really need and of course your budget. Number 13 is the floating kitchen extension. Now this is an interesting kitchen extension, it almost appears to float out the back. The grey painted cladding adds contrast on the first floor roof and pop out window. 
This contrast is resolved by matching the fascia of the extension roof with the colour of the rear garden tiles. Number 14 is the Scandinavian style rear extension. This example has a great mix of materials and the dark blue slates on the second floor extension really stand out. The plot isn't too dissimilar to the previous example, but you can see the difference between the two buildings and that purely comes down to the materials used, even the artificial grass at the back looks good. Number 15 is the Funky Kitchen in London. This contemporary extension has a lot of interesting shapes, not to mention furniture. The floating timber stairs look really good to the right hand side of the kitchen area, and the inner balcony to overlook the dining area is a cool touch. So thanks very much for checking out our kitchen extension video. For a lot more information like this, please visit bespokehomedesign.com or click on some of the links provided below. Also, do you want to know how much your extension will cost? The most common question we get on Bespoke Home Design and from our clients is how do I get a ballpark figure for my building work so I have an idea on how much it would cost me before I start? And there hasn't really been an easy answer to that until now. If this question applies to you, then you need to check out our free Ultimate House Extension Costing Toolkit. Basically, we've tried every pricing toolkit, both offline and online, and we've put together this toolkit which shows you how to use what we consider to be the best three free online costing tools that exist for the UK market. We break each one down and give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to use them, and you'll be shocked with how ridiculously easy they are to use. We'll also show you what info you need to fill them out, and how to get this info if you don't have it. Again, it's really simple to do. This is the best resource on the big bad interwebs for getting a pretty good ballpark figure for your extension. And the best part is, you can do it all online, so there's no calling anyone, or booking an appointment, or being hounded by salespeople. In summary, you'll discover the three free and super simple online costing tools made for house extensions. You'll be able to get an accurate cost for your extension work in 5 minutes or less, yes it's really that fast. And you'll be able to make sure you don't get overpriced and ripped off by builders on your dream extension. So to go and get your free copy, all you have to do is click the link below and you'll be brought to a page of the Bespoke Home Design website. And you simply enter your name and email address and we'll email you your free copy. So click the link below and get yours now.